Three Qatar Red Crescent Society staff die in Turkey and Syria as the death toll tops 5,000. Amid a mass global response, Qatar deploys forces to Turkey to assist with rescue operations. In other news, India's top gas importer is seeking more liquefied natural gas from Qatar. And finally, there is a new chief in town as Qatar Football Association unveils a new head coach. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. The natural disasters of Monday are likely to go down in history as one of the strongest earthquakes that have occurred in decades. As it stands, a fast-rising death toll has surpassed 5,000 people in both Turkey and Syria. Qatar Red Crescent Society said three of its staff tragically died while on duty on both countries. Two deadly earthquakes rocked Turkey and neighboring Syria on Monday, killing more than 5,000 people and displacing tens of thousands. The first 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck early in the morning with the epicenter close to the Turkish city of Gaziantep. Hours later, this was followed by a second quake with a magnitude of 7.5 in southeast Turkey. On that note, Doha News is on the ground in Turkey to join Qatari forces on a search and rescue mission to respond to the disasters. Hundreds of Lekhwiya forces have been supplied with essential aid to help survivors on the ground. They'll also be helping rescue teams on the ground dig through the rubble in a frantic search for trapped survivors. Qatar has sent 10,000 mobile homes to Turkey and Syria as tens of thousands have been left without shelter due to the destruction caused by the quakes. And now Petronet LNG, the biggest gas importer from India is looking to add 1 million tons per annum of liquefied natural gas when it renews its long-term agreement with Qatar this year. Petronet has until the end of this year to renew its contract with Qatar. India's LNG imports decreased for the second consecutive year in 2022, primarily as a result of utilities purchasing less LNG. And finally, Qatar Football Association has officially appointed former Iran coach Carlos Kiroz as the new El Anabi manager through to the year 2026. The Portuguese coach has long been rumored to be linked to take over over as Qatar's head coach after Felix Sanchez's exit prior to the World Cup. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.